Okay, we are almost done. I took the Liberty and I mixed up, remember we're in the same blue and gray color, and I really watered it down. And I took my big brush. Just be careful with your big brush though, because it'll hold a lot of paint. And when I initially put it down, it was like, whoa, that's a lot of color. So I kind of um, grabbed my napkin and daubed it out. But I went back and forth and I put a light, that light blue right over the top. And I was able even, you could just go right over the top as long as your um, lines on, on your boat are dry, you can go right over the top like that. So I started with the light gray. That was just kind of a light, soft. Remember, we'd mix the two blues and the black. And now what I'm going to do, as it slowly goes down, it's going to get a little darker. So I may have to, hold on a sec. Get kinda, I'm using my big brush so I can just go back and forth. Look at that. I'm just going to go right over the boat. Well, here, if you're a little nervous, you don't have to. Look at that. I'm just kind of, I've got a nice square head on my boat, and I'm just going to, I mean, excuse me, on my brush. And if it's a little weird here, just take your napkin and give it a, give it a wonk. Here we go. Look how I'm skipping. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's starting to come and in, turn into a painting. Now as I go, I add a little on that pile of garbage, of hot garbage that I had in my paint. I might even just add a little more color as it gets down towards the bottom, it's going to get a little bit darker. And again, I'm just going back and forth. Is that fun or what? Look at that. If you're getting these little, I call these little holidays, these little bumpy things, it means you don't have enough water. Sometimes I like them, especially with water because it looks like the ripples, but you see how we're slowly, I'm just going back and forth and I hope my lines are straight. Actually, I don't care. Nature's never perfect. Look what this is. Isn't that cool? And then I'm just, I just keep on mixing. I'm just kind of getting all this crap on here. Just add it together as we're going down. It can get a little bit bluer. And I'm just going back and forth. And look how it's wet. You kind of get a wet and wet. I kind of like that it's a little bit lighter over here. Isn't this crazy how we started out with just that wash in the beginning? And now we've got, this is where I always kind of, get excited and I love it. Also, I was going to say, if you have a, you know, my hand touched this and my hand touched this, I really don't care because with the piece like this, you can just go over the top and no one will ever know. Or it can just be part of the ripples in the water. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So we're lighter up here. Here we used a lot of water and less paint. Here we kind of loaded on more, um, a little bit more paint, less water. I think I'm going to, you're going to hear me say this all the time, leave it alone. This looks great. And it, so there's that. Do you see how when we did the first initial wash, I showed you how to do the graduated wash. We dried it. Didn't look like much. But then when you start adding the ripples on top, now you have a piece. And look at this beautiful boat. So there's the finished boat. And my colors are never the same. I mean, here I might have put a little bit more lizard and crimson. And if you want to be adventurous, make it a hot yellow um, sunset if you want to. Just remember, when you do the graduated wash, it meets in the middle. And then there's my painting that I had done previously. And then there's the photo. So I just kind of cropped it. So there's your photo, photo that I did. There's one I had done previously. This has a little bit more black and gray in it. I kind of like this one a little bit better. It's got, I didn't put as much black in it. I kind of like that one. And I was, a, you know, if I want to doctor up some of these reflections on this, I can. I kind of like them a little bit lighter. But remember, you can always go a little bit. Um, you can keep messing with it. You can go darker. But I think that turned out pretty good. Look at this. It's crazy. I can never get it exactly the same, but this one's got a lot more pink in it, and this one has a little bit more yellow, but I really like it. So, until next time, and I think that's about it. This was an easy formulated painting, and it's called the graduated wash, meaning we did the under part first, the beautiful, you know, blues graduating into the light blues, and then we've got the, um, the darker one. Then you do the dry brush on top.
So there's our boats. And I think for our next class that we're going to do, we are going to do some funky Yupo paper. So I think my next one, I'm going to try to experiment with some Yupo paper. And um, Yupo, Y-U-P-O, and you can usually order it online. It's called Yupo paper. It's a plastic. And we might do a funky, bright poppy on Yupo paper. So again, thanks for sticking with me. And there's your piece. I'm excited. So have go paint and have fun.